Welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, I had one of my favorite fish pass away. My living stone eye, his name was Ricondo. I had him for about two years and I think he was about two when I got him. So I, he was probably four years old. Here we are looking at the 135. If you're uh, sensitive to this kind of thing, maybe you shouldn't watch because there is a deceased fish right here. Like you typically see some of his fins have been chewed and I think his eyes might have been chewed out. But I do not believe he died as a result of those injuries. I think he caught a sickness and then and died and kind of just fell into the corner here. I, of course, test the water immediately when something like this happens. Everything was fine. There was no skyrocketing ammonia or pH or anything. Just, you know, sometimes your fish are going to just pass away. If you were attacked, it would have had to have been the Venustas here or Diamond. And there's one other larger peacock who could have potentially injured Ricondo. But I honestly don't think that's what happened. His eyes were looking puffy, actually, about a week before this. And I thought about quarantining him, but I really didn't think it was a serious illness. But I guess he was just, he was not well. But the water turned out to be okay. It's just, sometimes it's their lifespan. They can live up to 10 years. That doesn't mean it's going to be the case every time. So I'm going to move some of the fish from my 90 gallon over to the 135. A couple of alpha males here. The blueberry one you saw there up top. And there's a couple of blue dolphins. You just saw one right there. And then we have Diamond Sun right there in the far left corner. Camera zoomed in on him there. So I'm going to move five probably at the same time just to make it a smoother transition. Nobody will get picked on if you if you add a bunch at once. And I want to show some video of Ricondo here in his heyday. And I do have some video on him. I have a, a fish profile on Livingstone Eyes, which is he's the center of that video. And you see him in all the different stages that I own him. And, you know, fish dying is it's part of the hobby i don't want to just focus only on the on the wonderful and glorious things sometimes fish are going to pass away i'm a realist so i did unfortunately lose a wonderful fish but maybe i'll get another living stone eye sometime down the line thanks as always for watching and hopefully i'll have a more cheerful topic for the next video